Once upon a time, in a peaceful village nestled at the foot of a majestic mountain, there lived a wise and renowned Zen master named Haruki. People from far and wide sought his counsel and guidance, for he was known to possess incredible wisdom and the ability to understand the deeper mysteries of life. One day, a young boy named Koshi, known for his curious nature and insatiable thirst for knowledge, heard tales of the Zen master's extraordinary powers of the mind. Intrigued and filled with wonder, Koshi embarked on a journey to meet the renowned master, hoping to learn from him. After a long and arduous journey, Koshi finally arrived at the Zen master's humble abode. He was greeted by a serene and smiling Haruki, who invited the young boy inside. The walls of the master's dwelling were adorned with intricate calligraphy and beautiful paintings that seemed to emanate tranquility. Koshi couldn't contain his excitement as he sat in front of the Zen master. He eagerly asked, Master Haruki, I have heard tales of your extraordinary powers of the mind. Is it true that you can control the world with your thoughts? The Zen master chuckled softly, his eyes gleaming with wisdom. Dear Koshi, the true power of the mind lies not in controlling the world, but in understanding ourselves and finding peace within. He replied. Perplexed, Koshi asked. But master, how can one find peace within themselves? Isn't it easier to change the world and make it conform to our desires? Haruki gently placed his hand on Koshi's shoulder and spoke with a gentle tone. The world is vast and ever-changing, filled with both joy and sorrow. Trying to control it is like trying to capture the wind in your hand. Instead, focus on understanding your own mind. Only then can you find true peace. The young boy pondered the master's words and asked, but master, how does one understand their own mind? Haruki smiled warmly and shared a story with Koshi. Once, there was a great river that flowed through a dense forest. Many people would come to cross the river, but they feared its powerful currents. A wise old woman built a sturdy bridge to help people cross safely. One day, a man approached the old woman and said, This bridge is wonderful, but how can I learn to control the river? The wise old woman replied, you cannot control the river, my friend. Instead, learn to understand its flow and navigate it wisely. The same principle applies to the mind, continued Haruki. Rather than trying to control it, observe its currents, thoughts, and emotions without judgment. By cultivating awareness and understanding, you will find inner peace. Koshi's eyes lit up with newfound understanding, and he thanked the Zen master for his profound wisdom. From that day forward, the young boy dedicated himself to the practice of mindfulness and self-reflection, seeking to understand the river of his own mind. In time, Koshi became known for his own wisdom and ability to guide others toward inner peace. And whenever someone asked him about the power of the mind, he would share the story of the Zen master Haruki and the young boy named Koshi, reminding them that true power lies in understanding, acceptance, and finding peace within oneself. This is God of Motive. Thanks for watching and stay focused.